Okay guys, welcome back to my channel. I wanted to give you an update on some of the things that we're doing. So obviously I bought a Titan uh, T3 weight rack and I've been holding off getting weights and uh, Titan weights are kind of expensive. A lot of them are rubber coated weights and that sort of thing. Um, I found that the best deal for weights is the fitness gear weights that you can buy at Dick's Sporting Goods. So um, really get 300 pounds of weights. You can see all the weights that you get here and they're, they have nice handles on them for easy on, easy off. And, uh, and basically it's 300 pounds of weights. You actually get with it a seven foot bar, Olympic bar as well. Um, it does have a 300 pound capacity on this bar, which is fine for me. I'm not trying to deadlift or, or get in a weightlifting competition. So you get a three, you get a seven foot, it's a 45 pound bar, seven feet long. And it comes with the two clamps that go on it as well. You know, there's a couple things that are a complaint about this weight set. One, they say the bar is not very good. They say that it's not constructed very well and under weight, like if you start adding two, 300 pounds, that you'll start seeing a bend to the bar. And so if you're lifting a bunch, you'll start seeing it where it kind of bends to the outside. Um, when, where the weights are actually held, it'll start to bend there. And then generally the bar kind of falls apart if you start using a lot of weight on it, that um, the bar isn't really screwed together like you would get with a, like a, a true heavy duty Olympic bar that you would see in your no local gym. It's not really screwed together that it's more, um, the parts are more glued together in these ends. And because of that, they can work themselves loose and we start adding more weight to it and it has that extra pressure that you can get a bend to the bar. So I'll let you know if that happens with me. Um, I did see that a lot of that, those issues were adjusted and fixed. So if you start reading the more recent reviews, they're like, I don't have that problem. I don't know what they're talking about. But that is one of the issues that you, you hear on this is that the bar generally falls apart or bends under um, a lot of lifting. But they do tell you right in the thing that it has a 300 pound um, like capacity to it. Um, I think it's, that's what they recommend that you stay under 300 pounds. So I would just do that. And to be honest, it's, it's probably not the best bar in the world if you want to be a heavy lifter and that sort of thing. But for me, in my gym, at my house, um, 300 pound capacity is, is great. It's fine for me, it works for me. The other complaint is these clamps. You see these clamps everywhere. Honestly, you can get better clamps, right? You can get the, the nice um, clamps for it as well, which aren't that much money. I think the value really for the three, for the, it's $248 of Dick's Sporting Goods. They're constantly out of stock. You have to really stalk their site to find out when they're in stock, buy them online, and they'll put them in your car. It's five boxes. It's really pretty compact. The only thing of length of, at all is this, um, but it fit in my, in my smaller um, uh, SUV and without a problem. And then um, basically the weights themselves, I mean, they are like a, I, I think they're like a cast iron weight. I don't, it doesn't say in the description what they really are, um, but I could see them being a problem for like rusting if you had them in your garage or something along those lines. I have them in a house, you know, I don't think that, uh, I don't have any rusting issues or whatever for in my house, but it's 300 pounds of weights. So you get two 45 pound plates, you get two 35 pound plates, two 25 pound plates, two 10 pound plates. And you get four five pound plates, and then you get these little cute little two and a half pound ones as well. Um, so I'll end up buying a couple things here yet. Um, I'll buy some posts so that the T3, Titan T3 rack doesn't come with weight posts. I'll buy posts so I can actually just slide them on there. It'll actually help with some stability because I'll add more weight to the bottom of the rack. Um, I don't have it it's secured to the floor yet. I might do that, at least put a, a nice big piece of wood under it, secure to the piece of wood, and then put my, my rubber flooring over it so it's nice and secure. I have like a platform, if you will, a uh, lifting platform. So I'll probably do something similar to that. But for 300 pounds of weights, you cannot get a better deal than $248. In fact, it's such a good deal that because of COVID right now, people are buying multiple sets of these from Dick's for $248, and they're selling them on Facebook Marketplace and Craigslist and things like that for $400 or $450 or something like that because it's hard to get them. It's really kind of hard to get them unless you're really watching. Um, I happened to see this late, on a, late one night that they got a couple in stock in a store near me. I bought them, but the next day they were sold out already. So uh, I went, in quickly to pick, went quickly to pick them up. So... Dick Sporting Goods, $248 for this. Um, you get the seven foot bar, you get the clamps, you get 300 pounds of weights. It's a fantastic deal. I'll let you know other things that I'm building on to this, this gym, but I think this is gonna work um, great for what I'm, I'm looking for. And uh, I'll see you next time. Give me a thumbs up. Give me any feedback you have on this. So, like I said, there's a couple things that are challenges here. Some people don't really like the bar. Big deal, you can buy a new bar. Um, some people don't like the clamps. 
no big deal. But the weights themselves, weights are weights. Um, if you want to buy bumper ones because you want rubber ones or you have a rusting issue because you're keeping them in the garage, I understand. But for $248 to get this much uh, weight and the bar and clamps, it's a fantastic deal. So we'll see you next time. Uh, subscribe, give us a thumbs up, and we'll talk to you again. Thanks, bye.